Well, I'm going to change the rear brakes on this 2015 F-150, but in order to do that, I first need to put it in service mode. Welcome back to your home garage, and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to put the EPB in service mode. Servicing actions on vehicles equipped with electronic parking brakes may cause the electronic parking brake to activate, which could result in serious injury to your hands. Therefore, always place the electronic parking brake into service mode prior to servicing or removing rear brake components. Electronic parking brake service mode is also known as EPB maintenance mode. The EPB system can also be deactivated using a diagnostic scan tool and following the on-screen instructions. But today, we'll use the truck. First, set the ignition to the on position. Press and hold the accelerator pedal. Place and hold the EPB switch to the release or downward position. Continue to hold the accelerator pedal and EPB switch. Now turn off the ignition and then turn it back in the on position within 5 seconds. Once again, you're continuing to hold the accelerator pedal and the EPB switch. Now the EPB system will be deactivated, which will prevent any parking brake activation until servicing has been fully completed. The EPB indicator will be illuminated and maintenance mode will display on your message center. At this point, you could turn the ignition to the off position and then release the accelerator pedal and EPB switch. Now when replacing the rear brake pads in service or maintenance mode, the brake caliper piston must be compressed into the caliper housing. The brake caliper piston does not have to be rotated while compressing the piston. Now that all servicing is done, let's reactivate the EPB system. Turn the ignition to the on position. Press and hold the accelerator pedal. Place the EPB switch in the apply or upward position. Continue to hold the accelerator pedal and the EPB switch. Turn the ignition to the off position and then back to the on position within 5 seconds. Again, you're continuing to hold the accelerator pedal and the EPB switch. Now you'll hear the EPB system fully apply and release the parking brake to guarantee a sufficient gap between the rear brake pads and brake disc. Now release the accelerator pedal and EPB switch, and now the message center will now be cleared. There you have it, the easy step-by-step -step process to save you a lot of brake piston issues. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend. Also, please comment below as I reply to all. Plus, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Your Home Garage.